First question is from that guy, KC. How much creatine should I consume and when? I'm a 37-year-old male with 16% body fat. Oh, creatine. The greatest supplement, literally, the greatest supplement. One of the ones that actually works. That exists. Uh, it works. It improves your health. It's good for cognitive function. It helps you build muscle, burn body fat. Actually, might even raise testosterone, anti-inflammatory. Yes, I sold creatine, but that's because it's, got, it's very well studied and it's a very, very good supplement for most people to take. Dosages. Okay, here's what they typically recommend, about five grams a day. I think that's a very general kind of overkill. I would say if you eat a decent amount of red meat, which already has creatine in it, um, and uh, your you know average build, I would say you're probably okay with about three three grams a day. Now, if you have a lot of muscle mass, you probably want to take a little more than that. If you don't eat a lot of red meat, especially if you're vegan, if you're vegan, creatine makes a huge difference. In fact, the cognitive boost studies uh, are pretty consistent with vegans. If they take creatine, they get a pretty measurable cognitive boost from taking it. So anywhere between three to five grams a day is probably the best dose. Now, don't most, I, I think almost every one I've ever seen, whether it be pill or powder, the serving size is normally five grams. Yes. And yeah. you don't see any problem with somebody taking two over, if they, even if they nah. eat. I'm just saying it from a saving. Because by the way, the, the amount of steak you have to eat just to get three grams of creatine is a lot. It's like a pound? Mm -hmm. It's a lot. It's yeah, a lot it's more, a than, big, it's it's more than that to get three grams. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah well, I, I just, how much How much creatine, Doug, in a pound of steak, if you could look that up? Because um, I, I think it's around, you're right, I think it's like two yeah, grams. Or yeah, so the, I would only recommend if it's someone's like, you eat red meat every day at least once or twice, mm -hmm. then maybe you can go lower. Otherwise, I normally just tell people five grams. Are they still promoting a loading phase? I remember doing that when I was younger, and I I remember eating an excessive Cell, amount Celtec. in the beginning. Yeah. So so was here's it Celtech the ones that did it first? Oh wow! You, see, there we go. Like five days of loading. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's almost like double, triple the dose. Yeah. yeah. So so uh, I want to address that, but real quick, one pound of raw beef or salmon, one to two grams of creatine. Yeah, you're right, Adam. So yeah. it's not. It's not That's hard. a lot too, by the way. Yeah. You know I mean, saying? a pound. Yeah, a pound. Yeah. <laughs> so most people, a big serving of meat is like eight ounces. So yeah. if you're 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 got to be eating at least. Two servings yeah. of probably steak or salmon a day. I eat at least a pound uh, a day, so I'm somebody that eats a lot, but most people don't. Yeah. Now, back to what you're saying, Justin, the loading phase. So a lot of companies will promote what's called a loading phase, where for the first seven days of using creatine, you take 15 to 20 grams a day, mm -hmm. and then you back down to five grams. Now, the reason why they promote this is studies show... So here's what happens with creatine, right? You take creatine, and you start to saturate the body with, uh, with this creatine. And there's a certain period of time that it takes to, to saturate the muscles. After that, you're taking creatine just to maintain that saturation level. Loading saturates the body a little bit faster. So will you get that saturation faster from loading? Yes. Is it that big of a difference? Enough to waste <laughs> that much uh -huh. creatine? Not in my opinion. It would make me sick. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you, uh, it's just not worth it from that perspective. Now, to I, that point, though, you would say that it's pretty important to be consistent, though, with it when you take it daily, through, especially the beginning, right? Yes. Five grams. I always say five grams a day. It's a good, you know, anywhere between three to five grams every single day is the way to do it. Now, what about time to take it? Now, in the past, I would have said it doesn't make that big of a difference. They say post-workout. Yeah, now. studies now are showing that post-workout, you utilize a lot more mm. of it by taking it right after I feel like that's kind out. of common sense. Yeah. I mean, that's like you, you, it, yeah. you, when, you are, you, when you're depleted like that, like your your muscles, your cells, everything's like they're a sponge. Yeah, they're there. all like a sponge ready to suck up any sort of nutrients yeah. or supplement you take. So here's, a, here's a little muscle bo boosting hack. For those of you that are, that are watching or listening right now that really want to, you know, feel and see an effect from natural uh, means, try this. Post-workout, take your five grams of creatine and also consume a good four to 600 milligrams of cholesterol. So egg yolks or you can do organ meats or whatever. Cholesterol's got a muscle building effect. Uh, it's got a protective effect. The creatine gets absorbed by the body and you do your body does utilize cholesterol as you're recovering or whatever. So do those two things Try that for like a few weeks and watch what happens. Didn't you? Didn't you bring up a study a long time ago of uh, actually combining that with red light too? Red light. Oh, okay. So right. So that, isn't that like the monster, right? Yeah. There? So, so red so. light therapy increases the ATP production of the mitochondria in your cells. This is why it. it that's why it works, right? So it makes sense to combine it with creatine because you're trying to boost ATP. Red light plus creatine you should have this kind of synergistic effect. And I've experimented with it and I love it.